Welcome back to EDU in Aini. Any educator will tell you that back to school can be one of the most hectic periods of the school year. With new students, classes, and initiatives, there's a lot of going on. On this episode, we'll look at some of the new features we're rolling out for Google Classroom. Based on feedback from educators like you, these updates were designed to help teachers save time during back to school and throughout the school year. Let's get to it. We've updated Google Classroom to give teachers more control over how they organize everything from assignments and announcements to class rosters. It's the same classroom you're probably already familiar with, just redesigned to help teachers and students find what they need quickly. With these new updates, it's easier for teachers to organize work, set up, and manage their classes. Let's take a closer look. First up, we've added a new classwork page that enables teachers to better organize assignments and questions by grouping them into modules and topics. This makes it easier for teachers to plan their curriculum for the semester or unit and for students to easily find assignments. Teachers can now create assignments and questions from the classwork page instead of the stream. And questions and assignments are now easy to find and reorder. Thanks to the classwork page, the class stream can be used for class updates. Detailed assignments and questions are moved to classwork, transforming the stream into a conversational hub where teachers can notify their students about upcoming deadlines, post announcements, and more. Students can also post and start their own discussions, creating a virtual forum and classroom. Posts on the stream have been redesigned with a more compact view, which allows teachers and students to view more content on the page and avoid missing important updates. We're also making it easier to set up and manage classes thanks to the New People page and the New Settings page. With the New People page, we've consolidated teachers, students, and guardians into a single spot. Here, teachers can view, add, and remove students, co-teachers, and guardians. They can also update guardian information and send emails. And with the new settings page, teachers can control overall classroom settings all in one place, editing class descriptions, changing course codes, adjusting guardian summaries and class locations, and more. That's all for this episode. Be sure to check out the links below for the full announcements. We'll be back next week to dive into some additional updates to Classroom. See you then. Check out our last episode where we look at Google Arts and Culture, what it is and how it can be useful in the classroom.